Hello, this is Richard Price. Today we're going to be talking about different types of curing lights, such as these, and we're going to focus particularly on these ones here. The Velo X, the Cicada G7, and then also the Woodpecker LEDB curing lights. As you can see, different styles, and the Cicada G7 looks rather like a Velo curing light. And many of you may think that this light is a multi-peak light. Well, I'll soon show you that it isn't. One of the first things you notice when you look at these lights is the difference in the tip size. This is a much larger tip than this one here. Or this one here. The Velo X has a much larger tip size. Okay, so let's measure the emission spectrum from the Cicada light. Here we can clearly see it's a single peak curing light. We're now going to measure the emission spectrum from the Velo curing light. And we can clearly see it's a multi peak curing light. The emission spectrum from the Woodpecker curing light. And you can see it's a single peak curing light. So, in conclusion, when you're choosing a new curing light, it's not just about the price. Sure, this uh, red light here is much cheaper than this one here, but there are some real differences between these two lights. Most obviously you can see that the tip size is different between the two. The spectrum is different from the two. One, this one here is a multi-peak light and this is a single peak light. The power output from the light is very much different. Now the radiance is not quite so different, and that's because the tip size is so small on this light. Sure, these are both metal, and infection control is going to be relatively easy with these two, um, as compared to, say, for example, this one here, which has got more buttons and plastic. But uh, this one here has got a, a swivel in the head. And this uh, gap here is a, an area where maybe bugs and bacteria can reside. We've also shown you the importance of, of access. This light here, you can very easily access the back teeth. The same thing applies for this one here, it's very easy to get into the back teeth. Whereas when you pick up a curing light like this, it's really hard to get in to that last molar tooth. Final thing to think about when you're choosing a curing light is does it have approval for use in your country. Most curing lights are medical devices and they have to have an approval to be sold and used on patients. So you need to make sure and check that the lights you're using do have approval for use in your country. And it's always nice to have a friendly sales representative that you can go and see if you have a problem with the light. Sometimes if you go and buy a light such as this you know, it's very hard to get a hold of the person. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Cheerio.